welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a, a long style video, but I'm gonna try and do them more often, so look out for those. But uh, tonight I'm gonna be shooting the Leo triplet, and I'm in a nice 404 sky, so it should be pretty good. So this is my Ray Gull setup I'm running. I'll show you what I'm using tonight. So on the back, I've got a ASI 183MC Pro. So one shot color Astro camera. Uh, cooled down to minus 10 degrees C and game 111 offset eight. And I'm gonna be using five minute exposures tonight. And I've got a filter drawer up here, which is empty because there's not much light pollution. So I don't need a filter where I am at the moment. I've got a Red Cat 51 which is a 250mm uh, refractor. And then I've got a ASI 120mm Mini and a ZWO 30mm guide scope, which is all being controlled by the Mealy Quieter 2Q Mini PC, which is uh, it's running Nina PHD2 and Green Swamp server. And then all of that is being carried by the Star Adventure GTI mount. Right, so the forecast says it's going to cloud over around midnight, so I'm not going to be able to get much exposure. Might get a couple hours at most, but yeah, looking good at the moment. Okay, the first exposure is about to come up on the screen. Here it comes. There they are. and the satellite. <laughs> Looks pretty good. I'm gonna take a load of those now. All right, so it's second night out. Uh, there's a lot of clouds started about, but I'm hoping they're gonna go away soon. Um, I've got the same setup as last night. It's a red cat and everything. Uh, I got about an hour and 20 minutes last night, so I'm hoping to add a bit more to that. So yeah, hopefully these clouds go away. All right, so I've just got the DSLR out and I've started taking photos of like just random areas of the sky. And the amount of stars you can see is insane. There's never been anywhere near this many when I've done this sort of thing at home. It's so much darker. Yeah, I'm going to take a load of these and I'll put them all at the end of the video with the finished Leo triplet photo. I've just been taking photos of the farmhouse with a lot of stars in the background. And I've caught a little meteor going through the frame there. Look. That's pretty cool. Right, so the clouds have sadly returned. Uh, I think I've got another maybe hour and 20 minutes possibly. So I should be on about two and a half hours now, I think, total. So I'm just taking the, the flats for tonight and the dark flats. And then uh, I'll go inside and sort through them all, see if there's any good ones and throw out the bads. back home now and I've loaded all my frames into the blink tool in PixInsight. You can see them all going by there uh, and I've sorted through them all and got rid of the bad ones where there was clouds going over in some and then others there was a bit of star trailing because of uh, guiding errors but yeah I've got rid of all those and it's left me with 28 five minute exposures which is two hours and 20 minutes total. Um, so yeah, I'll stack all those together and I should be able to get a pretty nice photo from that. I've just spotted this frame. It's got three satellites and a meteor going through. There's a satellite there, one here, and then one going up there as well. Uh, and then right next to this galaxy here, there's a meteor shooting through. Right, I've got all those stacking now. 
Uh, I'll wait for that to finish and then I'll process it. And then I'll put all my photos at the end of the video, uh, including the ones I took with the DSLR, because I should have some nice wide angles of different bits of the sky. And then obviously the Leo triplet photo as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you like the photos and wish you all clear skies.